Hey yo everyone, Sibby Gamer here with another awesome video for you guys. Today we're playing Would You Rather through either.io. A lot of YouTubers have done this in the past. I'm just doing it because, you know, this sounds like fun. Let's get started. First question here is Would you rather get twenty thousand dollars worth of jewelry or get ten thousand dollars worth of electronics? See, part of me is like, let's go for jewelry, because $20,000 worth of jewelry, that's a lot. And other part of me is the nerd side of me, the little geek wearing his glasses that I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Let's bring out my geek. Honestly, I would probably rather have... $10,000 worth of electronics. Not because it's just electronics, but all the simple fact that if I were to try and sell it, $10,000 worth of electronics I could probably sell for about $8,000 since it was technically used or pre-owned. But jewelry, jewelry generally doesn't sell well. So you could get $20,000 worth of jewelry but that's only worth in reality, only two or three thousand dollars. So, I would rather have ten thousand dollars worth of electronics. Wow, that's a lot of people that agreed with me. Thirty-seven percent for jewelry, sixty-three percent electronics. Yay! I'm part of the masses. Next question: Would you rather marry at age ten, never marry at all? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I would have wanted to get hitched at the age of 10. Um, I would suppose never marry at all. 10 is kind of like very young to get married. <laughs> really? More of you rather get married at age 10? It's okay, I'll, I'll just be lonely with 47% of other people. Okay, next question. <laughs> Would you rather absolutely reek of armpits for the rest of your life or lose your sense of smell completely? That is horrible. On the one hand, you would smell horrible for the rest of your life. And no one would want to be around you because of it. And you would always smell yourself. On the other hand, you wouldn't smell. People would love to be around you then, as long as you have a good personality. But you can't smell. And most of what you eat is based on smell. I guess I would choose to lose your sense of smell completely. Because... I need to stop being tempted so much with food. I smell pizza, I smell cookies, I just have to go over there and just pig out. So if I lose my sense of smell, I lose hopefully part of my large appetite. Plus, they can do jumps that no one else wants to do because they're absolutely disgusting and smelly like being... Uh, I don't know, something with the horrible smells. Whoa! 80% chose lose your sense of smell. Dane. Not, would you rather not be able to sit or not be able to stand? Uh, <laughs> what type of question is this? Well, if you're not able to stand, you're not able to walk, but if you can't sit, I would go with not be able to sit. I swear, I've never actually played this game before, so I don't know which is the most popular answer. <laughs> would you rather get severe frostbite 
Or be severely burned. Ooh, uh, let's do frostbite. There we go. I don't want... No, can you just imagine just being... That would hurt, like, real badly, and you would have to be in special care for all... I would assume a long time, several weeks, if not a couple of m months at least. And all the skin grafts. Breastbite, they have a small chance of at least saving whatever has the issue. So, uh, yeah. Would you rather always take cold showers or never feel anything cold? See, some people, strangely enough, like taking cold showers. Now, I, I ain't condemning you if you love taking cold showers. I personally like taking hot, steamy showers. <laughs> Never feel anything cold. I don't know. I like feeling cold sometimes. No, I, I would always take cold showers. It would help me wake up in the morning. Apparently, cold showers are also better for your hair, so, you know, that just means my hair will be even more beautiful. Would you rather lick the armpit of a sweaty cab driver or eat the earwax of an old man who has never cleaned his ears? Ew! What the hell? What the... What? I can't be reading that crack, like... Lick the armpit of a sweaty cab driver or eat the air wax of an old man who has never cleaned his... Ew, they're both so disgusting. Wait a second, earlier I selected smell nothing at all, so if I run through that scenario that I cannot smell anything, most of the taste won't be there. If I close my eyes and make it quick, it would be disgusting would have some slight disgusting taste but probably won't be too bad especially if I like wash down with lots of water immediately after and do mouthwash the second I get home but if I eat air oh no it just I've seen air wax before like actual on like swamps it's no it's gross I I even think I would lick the armpit <laughs> Whoa, 88% of people agree. Okay. If you were in a pinch, would you rather rely on the A team, rely on MacGyver, mm, rely on MacGyver? Hmm. Hmm. A team, the kick ass, their high action Mac MacGyver. You can make pretty much any impossible situation totally possible. So that's why I'll go with MacGyver. Give him like a glass jar and a rope, and he'll do like thousands of impossible things to save yourself. So. Oh, really? Interesting. Would you rather work recycling human poop? Work recycling human poop for the rest of your life? Or work with dangerous and explosive chemicals for the rest of your life? Oh no. Working with recycling human poop sounds kind of like a shitty job. While well, working with dangerous and explosive chemicals. Well, that just sounds like the bomb, actually, so. Chemicals! We love us some chemicals. Yo! 69%! <laughs> uh, I, I'm 12. Mental age of 12. In Pokemon, would you rather pick the Helix Fossil or pick the Dome Fossil? Um... I remember watching Gen 1 Pokemon when I was little, but, uh... Let's see. Dome Fossil. Fossil of a Pokemon that lived in prehistoric times. 
Helix fossil, a fossil of a Pokemon that lived in prehistoric times. Wait, what's the difference? What? Why they seem like they're both the exact same thing on this? What does it matter? Well, based on images, the Helix fossil looks cooler, so I'll I'll have Helix fossil. Yay! I'm part of the majority. I am literally doing what most people would select. I feel so. Now I'm leaving glasses on. Screw it. Are there no more? Whoa! Would you rather shotgun a bear or funnel a bear? I have no clue what shotgunning a bear is, so I guess I'll select funnel a bear. Well, whatever a shotgun a bear is, uh, most people like that. Have the ability? Would you rather have the ability to teleport? Or be able to time travel. Well, if I have the ability to teleport, I can go to literally any location that I want instantly. But being able to time travel, I can change time? Or, or, or... I, I think I would select time travel because, say, I buy a ticket to fly to, say, Canada, Canada. It took three weeks for that to happen, but if I'm a time traveler, I can travel back three weeks in time, and I would still be in Canada. My current state would be in Canada. My previous state would be in the U.S. still. Unless my body is forever linked if I were to time travel. No, time travel just sounds cooler in general. Time travel it is. Oh, whoa, that is... Whoa. Cannot believe that. 50-50. That is amazing. Exactly 50 fit well not so exactly, but very close enough to 50-50 on both sides. Wow. Would you rather only use Windows or only use Macintosh? I have used Macintosh less than a dozen times in my entire life. I know a lot about how to use Windows, so I'll use Windows. Though I also use a bit of Linux. Linux isn't bad. Why isn't that an option? Go. Would you rather start your own business, which is doomed to fail? Then why would I start in the first place? Who wakes up in the morning and go, Oh boy, I'm going to start a business so it can fail? I don't think anyone wants that. But okay, whatever, that's one choice. Or work for other people at low salaries. Salaries. Like how low? Like minimum wage low? Or uh, abused a little child in China, low. I know what I'm about to say is a bit unethical, but I think I would start your own business, which is doomed to fail. And when it fails, I accidentally have a building fire and collect insurance money. I still have lots of money. Right? Yeah, that's, that, that's what you do in this situation. It's, it beats being a lowly waged sweatshop worker. I assume that's what they're going for. Only 43%. Most of these seem relatively like 50-50 within a 10% margin, so... Would you rather emit robot noises whenever you move? Or make camera shutter sounds when you blink? Ah... Those both sound just very stupid. Shutter noises. Ma no. Robot noises. No. Shutter. Robot.
shutter, robot, shutter, robot, shutter, robot. I don't know. I don't know which one I watched. For all others, I'm like, this one because reasons. I don't know. They're both equally stupid. What do I... I don't know. Um... Real no shutter. Robot. Definitely the shutter. No robot. Uh... Okay, I guess I selected robot. Would you rather be a robot or be an alien? Hmm. Being a robot, I would have immortality. Being an alien, I would be hated by the human race. Definitely a robot. Next question. Would you rather have to live Adolf Hitler's life? Oh god, no. God, no. <laughs> Or have to live Joseph Stalin's life. They're both horrible, evil people. <laughs> well, that explains the category right down here. Don't know if I'll end up cutting it out or not, but it says evil men. But. I don't know to what degree Joseph Stalin's life was like how evil that was, but I do know how evil Adolf Hitler's life is, so I... That was horrible, I don't want any part of that. Okay, and I guess more people agree with me than not. Would you rather be able to fly up to 5 meters off the ground? Whoa, that would be cool. Can you just imagine just flying off just a few meters and just like fly to your classes or something, just jump out your dorm window? Fall down a little, then you just kind of fly to your door for class. Just go. <sighs> okay, so you would either be able to fly five meters or have a magic carpet that can fly up to 50 meters off the ground. So, what is this, Aladdin? Um, hmm. See, the issue of Magic Carpet is that it's not physically you. It can be stolen. Someone could steal this carpet away from you. So even if it's ten times higher, chances of, unless someone kidnaps you, chains you together, and just sits on your back and kicks at you until you fly. <laughs> Get up! Fly! <laughs> So, um, I think that's less likely. But you could also be exper experimented on. But you could fly away from them while they try to experiment on you. Overall, I would select being able to fly on my own 5 meters high. Ooh, that's really close. 48% to 52%. Well, it's okay, you 52%ers. Us 48% people are extremely awesome and, uh, we don't judge, we just know that you're not as awesome. It's just a fact of life. Would you rather have dogs as a pet or have Grumpy Cat as a pet? Yes! <laughs> really? Why? Why would you guys rather have just normal... Oh, it's Doge. Oh, that makes sense. I just read it as dogs. <laughs> It's like, normal dogs as pets, or grumpy cat, I'm like, grumpy cat! No, um, is it too late to change my answer? I I'm actually allergic to cats. If they burl for memes, I'd rather have that one. <laughs> well, it's okay. I can just take pictures of grumpy cat all day long and know that I'm the result of spam messages going out onto everyone's emails when it comes to Grumpy Cat. Okay, let's hope that this one's a good one. This will be the last one. Would you rather kill your daughter? What? <laughs> Would you rather kill your daughter to save an entire country from a huge catastrophe or be the cause of the catastrophe that destroys a country? Ooh. 
Kind of reminds me of the... Uh, would you kill your grandmother to save five other people when a train was like coming down on tracks? Switch it to kill your grandmother instead of the five people. Or let it hit the five people and save your grandmother. Um, ooh, I, I don't think I could be... <laughs> I don't think I would have the power to kill my own daughter. I don't even have a daughter. I don't have any children. So if I select this right now, it would mean nothing because I don't have, I don't have children. I don't, but if I theoretically did, I wouldn't want to kill them. The entire country has to suffer to save one child. And a lot of people agree. Um... No, since I already clicked on this one, I'll do it. Would you, for the rest of your life, would you rather eat what you find in a dump or eat sea life from the bottom of the sea? Let's see how many people. Only 24. Really? You'd rather eat raw sea life from the bottom of the sea? No, it, us 24 percenters are, are okay with our two day old nachos, our three day old pepperoni pizzas. We'd be good with that. We'll just be chilling at the dump, having a good old dump time. Well, this w was, for better or worse, an interesting Would You Rather segment. Um, most of it was pretty mesh, but there were a few there that kind of caught me by surprise, like kill your daughter or be a catastrophe for an entire country, or would you rather be Hitler or Stalin? And then that Pokemon one just kind of threw me in. I was like, I, I don't know. So that is all the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, get subscribed, hit the bell icon so you never miss another video just like this one. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. But like I said, hit that like button. Be, be kind. Give me a pity like if, if for nothing. And I'll see all you awesome dudes in the next video. Bye. Good right. Look at the beans. Look at the beans. Yeah. <laughs>